Hello, I am Margana Stanley, Superintendent of the Henderson County Schools. Rigorous coursework, strong character development, and five world-class skills are what we work on to build a better graduate. We educate the whole child, socially, emotionally, and physically. We also believe that no child should go to school in fear and that our parents and our guardians should have reasonable expectations that his or her child is safe. It is important to remind our parents and our students that our policies and procedures are in place to ensure a safe learning environment. This year we have in place some new initiatives and some procedures and we'd like to take the opportunity to share those with you to ensure that safety for all of our students and our staff. School safety here at Henderson County High School even starts outside at uh, front entrance areas. One of the things that our maintenance group did for us this summer was install bollards. Number one, to cut down on congestion in this area and to prevent an issue where a car might drive through the front entrance area. You will also find here at Henderson County High School enhanced lighting as well as additional security cameras for the outside of the building. That's a great time to step inside and look at security measures that we use inside Henderson County High School. All Henderson County Schools use an intercom system for visitors to communicate with staff before entering the building. New this year at the high school is a badge system scanner for staff to use, replacing keys being used at the doors. All schools use a dedicated sign-in system requiring all visitors to scan their identification. New this year at all schools is the alertist system, an emergency panic button. All schools have metal detector wands that can and will be used if necessary. One of the most visible changes you will see at Henderson County High School and soon to be at our other schools is a safety vestibule. A safety vestibule is an area that parents and volunteers can walk into a school, wait patiently, and it also adds a layer of safety for our students. Here at Henderson County High School, there are over 60 security cameras we use each and every day. In addition to those cameras, we also have cameras throughout the school system at different school sites. One of the areas that will increase again this year is our bus fleet. We're hoping to get around 80 to 85 percent of our fleet having uh, cameras on the buses as well. Supervision is another area of concern for us. So each day uh, during class change, during peak times in and out of the school building, staff will be stationed around the school watching and monitoring as kids come to and fro. As soon as the bell rings for instruction to begin, classroom doors are locked and teachers begin teaching. I'm seated at our SRO office here at Henderson County High School. SRO stands for School Resource Officer. The school resource officer provides safety and relationship building for our students and staff. It's an integral part of Henderson County Schools. I'm Officer Schweikart. I've been employed with the Henderson Police Department for five years in May. Um, I graduated from Henderson County High School in 2011, so I'm excited to be back at the school I graduated from, see the teachers that you know I had whenever I was in high school, and also connect with the kids. And because one of the big mentors I had while I was in high school was it was Officer Cox at the time was a school resource officer so I kind of want to be that mentor to the kids that he was to me so relationships are important. I want them to feel safe with me being around but I also want them to understand that I can be their their mentor but I'm not their best friend because I'm not gonna get them out of trouble I'm here to protect all the kids. The relationships that we've built over the last few years with our emergency responders have been vital and key to providing the safety and security for all students in our school system. One of the ways this year that they've provided additional support for us is every Thursday they uh, take time out of their schedules to meet with our staff on two different areas, uh, avoid, deny, and defend, and then also on stop the bleed for our uh, teachers. Henderson County Schools has implemented the Stop Tip Line for online reporting of concerns about threats of violence or any issue involving the safety of students. This follows our See Something, Hear Something, Say Something message. Henderson County Schools embraces digital citizenship and offers sessions for parents and students on how to be safe online. Youth mental health first aid trainings are offered to the community and designed to teach parents, family members, school staff, and other citizens on how to help an adolescent who is experiencing a mental health challenge. 
Leadership and bullying prevention programs are in place throughout the district under the leadership and guidance of our mental health specialists, school psychologists, and social workers. Well, right now we have two elementary mental health counselors. We have one uh, middle school counselor and we have one high school. And what makes them different or differentiates them a little bit from just our traditional guidance counselors is our mental health counselors are just working with kids focusing on mental health and where they're at. So at any given time, our mental health counselors will have 50 to 75 children on a caseload that they're seeing you know, every week, every other week. And it can be as simple as from having just a positive relationship with a child to helping a child you know, really work through some, some heavy things that might be going on with them. The Alveus program is um, kind of like the gold standard for bully prevention programs that um, are used across the world. Last year was our first year of implementation, and so we, this is the beginning of year two. There are four rules that kind of go with the program that we teach our kids, and um, so year two is off to a good start already. So guys, today we're going to do our Alveus lesson about empathy for strangers and friends, okay? My name is Justin Fuller, and I took a class in Alveus about a year ago, and since then I've noticed a huge change, not only in our students, but even in our staff. Everyone is becoming a more compassionate and more caring school. Alveus takes place on um, Friday morning, we have um, a class meeting around 10 o'clock. Um, the kids get circled up with the teacher and um, they begin discussion, whether it's um, their actual lesson or sometimes the kids will bring concerns that they have. And it's just simply a conversation between all of the classmates and the teacher. Last year, whenever I first started out I had three students that did this same lesson. They came up to me after lunch and they said, Mr. Fuller, you'll be so proud of us. And I said, well, how come? They said, we did exactly what we did in Alveus. I said, well, what do you mean? They said, we found one person at lunch and sat with them. And because of that, that student, their whole morale, their whole outlook at school changed. They were actually excited about coming to school. They were thrilled because they now had friends in a class. Um, it's just an opportunity for kids to discuss things that might be going on in the building. Um, things that are personally going on with them or maybe a friend that, that they have in our building. Um, and so it's just an opportunity for them to discuss. And like I said, sometimes the teacher will have them role play. Um, we, we do a lot of helping kids work through all of the issues and how to appropriately um, deal with whatever issues are going on. I have noticed since we implemented Alveus, bullying has went down tremendously, especially in the hallways. That was one of our biggest areas that when we did our pretest or our survey, that was one of the areas that bullying was happening the most. And now that we teachers are out supervising more, now that students are more aware of what bullying actually is, we've seen a huge decline in it. In Henderson County Elementary Schools, students are exposed to classes and programs designed to foster a sense of leadership and community. There is a focus on the importance of relationship building. An example is Cairo Elementary School, which is designated as a Lighthouse Leader in Me school. My name is Miss Chappelle and I'm the principal at Cairo Elementary. And I'm very proud that we are a Leader in Me Lighthouse School at Cairo. The Leader in Me is a process that is the foundation of all we do at Cairo. We use proactive approaches to teach our students to be in charge of their own actions, to stop and think before they speak and before they act. Also, we teach them to prioritize and set goals both academically and behaviorally. We teach them to collaborate with their peers and also adults in our buildings and to always listen with their eyes, their ears, and their heart. We challenge our students to find balance in all aspects of their lives. And finally, we encourage our students to find their gifts and use those gifts to inspire others. Teaching our students the seven habits and these foundational principles ensures character growth opportunities and builds a sense of trust and confidence in our students. It also prepares our students for future challenges that they will face in the real world. Being a leader in Meath School creates a school culture of both trust, collaboration, and teamwork. The Leader in Me principles create an environment that's both mentally and physically healthy for our students and staff because everyone feels a sense of ownership at Cairo Elementary.
The partnerships that we have with our local law enforcement and emergency agencies are essential, not just for the trainings that we do, but also for the real life situations that occur. Just like the incident that occurred at North Middle School on February 15th in 2018. Last spring, North Middle School experienced um, a potential crisis. We thought we had a gunman. Um, we had just come in off of bus duty um, in the afternoon and our school resource officer called my cell phone and um, as he was um, calling I thought it was very odd because he hadn't been gone from our building very long and um, I answered it and he just started yelling through the phone lock it down lock it down um, so the SRO came back to our property um, he was here probably within two and a half minutes um, at that point, I, we had already pushed the lockdown button, which is some new technology that our, that our district has installed. And um, we had made the announcement that this was a real situation, and all of our teachers did exactly what they had been trained to do. We received a call that there was someone in front of North Middle School who may be armed. Um, the caller thought that person may have entered the school. We had a total and immediate response, not only from the Henderson Police Department, but from the Henderson County Sheriff's Office and Kentucky State Police to that location. Uh, I was actually the lieutenant on second shift at the time. And so the initial call came out. It was a Rite Aid in reference to a shoplifter, um, but they also believed he was armed with a rifle and he was running toward North Middle School. Because I knew the other officers were heading to the school to set up a perimeter and actually go inside and then clear the building uh, to try to get our information to relay vital information that officers at the school needed. All of the law enforcement agencies descended upon our building. Um, it, was, it was a very scary situation. Um, it went on for probably 30 to 40 minutes as they swept through the building. It was um, amazing to watch the way that they all worked together. Um, and one by one they would find our staff. We were communicating with each other. We've been training an active shooter for 10 years. It's something that we continue to do. We have a great partnership with the school system. Um, and so this was just one of those examples where all that hard work and relationship and training, uh, we got to see it kind of fleshed out. So it, overall it was great because anytime there's something that you can learn from that doesn't turn into a critical incident, I think it's a win-win for everybody. Yeah, we hate that this incident occurred. However, with the response being immediate and all-inclusive for all law enforcement agencies, we hope that in the end, um, regardless of the incident, that our community and our school system, our parents, I'm a parent, I have two children within this school system, that they saw what our response was and that we do not take calls like this lightly and hopefully it reassured parents and students that we will be there and we will be there quickly and we will be there ready to keep them safe. The law enforcement officer that had done our training actually joined us together um, that night before everybody left our building and um, he didn't seem like a man that generally praises people, but he said he was very amazed at how our school staff had responded. Uh, the teachers did a fantastic job. They did exactly what they were supposed to do, and it was scary because they're only accustomed to doing this in a training scenario. So when they saw officers coming in pointing guns at them, um, it was a very scary situation for many of our teachers. However, they handled it with, they, they were just fantastic. They did exactly what they were supposed to. Even after peeking out they would of a window, they would still ask for identification because they may see someone in plain clothes. Because like I said, many of us were coming from home or were out and about in town off duty, but we still responded. Uh, to the scene itself. So that was great that the teachers in such a high stress situation and the faculty members remembered, you know, to ask for identification if someone was in plain clothes. So that was great. Um, we had two students that were in the school. Um, one student put herself on lockdown alone. It was amazing. It was scary. She, we couldn't praise that student enough for her response to the situation. We had two other uh, children in the school, students who were there with parents. You know, there's so many things that could have gone wrong. 
uh, in this situation, we were very fortunate that it was not um, what it was reported to be, that there was no one who was ever in the building armed or even in the area armed with a weapon, we later found out. However, everyone's response was exactly how they were trained. Please be assured that Henderson County Schools is committed in providing an extraordinary educational opportunity for every student. And in addition, we are dedicated to ensure we have safe learning environments for students and staff. If you need any additional information, please do not hesitate to give our Board of Education office a call. I am Morgana Stanley, the Superintendent of the Henderson County Schools. Thanks again for watching.